नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग और गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू शेयर्स कॉर्नर वेलकम अगेन ऑन माय अनदर वन ऑफ द बेटर टेस्टिंग वीडियोस एज यू नो आई लाइक टू प्ले गेम्स दैट आर इन बेटाज और स्टफ लाइक दोज न्यूअर गेम्स एंड स्टफ आई कवर दोज गेम्स देर गेम प्लेज एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ फॉर यू गैस टू सी एंड इवन इफ यू कैन नॉट for uh, various reasons play or maybe your you don't want to download a game just to for the beta period of quite a few days and then you don't even know whether you'll play that or not whether you'll enjoy that or not is a bigger question i have this uh, beta videos for you to show you the gameplay of these games from my point of view and then along with many other view uh, videos uh, of various of my fellow youtubers and people all around the world i'm sure you can make up your mind whether you like this game whether you'll want to play this game or not so today the game we are going to play right off the bat let me just get into it because i'm going to show you the game itself now so this game in itself is a technical beta is in technical beta testing so various aspects may be good may be bad we'll see i have no idea right now but we'll see uh is known or is named as disintegration just today 28th of january 2020 this game has uh, launched its technical beta which will continue up till tomorrow on 29th and then it will uh, end a game that is developed it's a, it's a sci-fi shooter developed by v1 interactive founded by halo's creative director marcus leto and socom director mike gutman uh this game is quote at quote from the v1 interactives uh, description about the game quoting in our near future climate extremes overpopulation food storage and a global pandemic led to nations collapsing and humankind on the brink of extinction scientists adopted a means in which a human brain was removed and surgically encased into a robotic armature a process known as integration it was meant to be a temporary solution to an unavoidable crisis it was a good thing for decades allowing humans to survive but some of the integrated saw this new form as the future of humanity with no desire to reverse the process the post humanists integrated strafted calling themselves the reone global war soon erupted and reone forces now seek to hunt down any remaining humans forcing their integration and destroying those who don't share their views in disintegration you play as an integrated character named Romar he is one of the many who rebelled and are now outlawed by the Reone it's up to you to lead a small group of these outlaws people who have chosen to fight back and survive into a brighter future where we protect those they care about and hope that one day become human again so it has a full grown campaign that you play as Romar Shoal the expert grav cycle pilot and fight against the outlaws it has a multiplayer where uh, there are variety of maps and different type of battle modes as for how it will everything go about let's actually play the game and test it out right so here we are in the disintegration main menu right off the bat just as you download the game in uh, today or tomorrow if you want to play the technical beta 
and uh, uh, download it from Steam if you get a beta testing key and stuff. Um, there are some being given uh, on the Alienware Arena forum as well. Uh, I think 400-ish keys were left when I checked it. Also, um, after you download it, just open up the game and it will directly load in and boot up in this screen, which is your tutorial screen. There's no, I mean, you need to press one enter button. That's it. <laughs> There's no other uh, menus and stuff as of now. Well, certainly it doesn't really have a need for a technical beta, I guess. We'll see in the future. There will definitely be more aspects coming around of everything here. So let's actually get into it. So, craft cycle basic. Aim at the red light. There we go. I'm down at the red light. So this is this aiming tutorial. Let's go. So shift is up and control is down. Space, okay, I see. If you find that you need repair, use your normal remote, fire it at the ground, and enter the healing field. Q. I see. Very well. Let's move on to scan mode. You can scan for objects in the environment by using the scan keyboard. Which is if. How do you scan? Press Swift to look for destructible objects like. Ah, uh, I see. So that's how. Great. Keep that there. Um. LMB for on board. Press. I don't know. So RMB, no LMB. Hmm. Yeah, RMB. Your unit will tie the bus around this area. Should you cancel a command, your unit will return to your position and follow. The cancel command can prove useful in situations where you may have lost track of them or require them to take over for a period of time. Okay. Use scan mode to search for interactables in the environment. Good work. You can use your command key to have your unit interact with the scanned object. Got it. Hmm. Interesting. Let's move on to unit combat training. We'll start by temporarily disabling your draft cycle's weapon. You'll need to work with your unit using only the command set. You can also use the command set to have your unit prioritize targets. Try prioritizing the target gunner using 
All right. In order to revive a completely downed unit, you will first need to retrieve their brain fluid. We're getting tore up. Okay. I see. What's next? Can we move on? Look, I have completed uh, this part. What is next? Give it all waves of enemies like What is the freaking wave my fellow? One two three now let's 
Is there any enemy hidden? I don't think so. Of have killed all that. Yeah. We need killed all. So what's the problem? Do we need to do something? Mm -hmm. I also healed myself. There's nothing else I can... Nanite repair canister. There's a nanite. How do I use this one? Quite literally, how do I use this? Oh, okay, well maybe this? Ah, I was right. Now what? So we cannot play the campaign, we can only play the multiplayer part. Alright. Let's see how the multiplayer works. So we also have the open beta test, which is uh, from January 31st to February 1st, so two more days. You have the OBT test, so if you guys want to do that as well. Right. Now we have these... Uh, win three rounds of zone control win the match. So let's take a look at our player. What the hell is this appearance? Uh, 
Uh, let's choose this. Wait, this is badges. Uh, can we? Okay, so we can create our own badge. Okay, let's create one then. Mm, how about? So first layer would be oh this then over the top let's put uh, this above which let's put no this doesn't look good. These don't look good, wait. These don't look good. Let me see. Certainly not. Hmm. What is this? Oh, so this uh win a match. Okay. This looks good, no? Uh let's change the color. Uh, for the background color we have uh let's put this. Actually, let's put this above which let's put um, this. Uh, actually, let's change this. Uh, let's put this here and then this. Let's put this so we have this can go to this and this. Yeah, that's okay, All right. That's fine. That's just a little bit. You can also like rotate and stuff like that. And use it. Uh, whatever. We can delete layer, color, image. You have to color or image and or the color scale up, scale down. E Q scale up, scale down. So you can increase like this. And shift to move up layers and then control move down layers. M for mirror. Yeah, this is also good. Yeah. And uh, WASD to translate. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um. Let's save it. So let's choose this. No banners. So we have a couple of banners that we can use. This is a <laughs> lol. You can get either buy them from the currency or get them through various other means. This is good. <laughs> and finally, more soon. You have a sad face, then shark, heavy tear, salt, heart. Ah, okay. And then you all have your crew appearance, which uh, we can change. Uh, slide, oh, night card. Made Neon Dreams, Lost Ronin, Technoir, Warheads, the business. Eh? So, you have different kind of uh, looks and all. I'll take Technoir. So, it's two different color schemes for everything. But so, yeah. Let's do it. Take this. Also, that's the grab cycle. Okay, this is the pilot, which also has two different appearances. And then finally, attachment, which you can... Okay, so these are like a little bit of... Um, yeah. Oh, do I need to buy this stuff? Or will this automatically rotate? I am not understanding. 
how do we go up this? Okay, have this up, no? I don't know. Not, I'm not really. Okay, pilot, I have. Um, I'm not really understanding. Maybe it uh, switches automatically. You cannot select it. So, let's do a game. Let's. Let's do a game. So, we only have quick play for now. Uh, I mean, it will be everything. Let's see. Let's see how many people are playing it actually. Oh, whether anyone is playing it <laughs> at all. Uh, let's see about that, right? How the game plays and everything like that. Uh, let's see to open the challenge menu. Uh, I see. So you can s select them. And the uh, uh, reward attachment. Okay. Banner. Alright. So these are all the achievements that you challenges that you need to do. There will probably be more in the future. The store is also not active right now. Uh, so Let's actually see how many or rather how long is it gonna take. Okay guys, so let's uh, go on and see how well matchmaking works here. All right, we got a match. The queue time isn't bad, not at all. So lowdown retrieval. Let's see. Let's see how the game plays, how the things feels like, and of course, since it's a technical beta, I'm assuming that the company will take problems very seriously and uh, will walk upon them herkesin skin'i var benim niye yok quick match Can I not make the voice chat volume low? Freaking. Uh, 
Okay, nice starting. There's a little bit of choppiness out there, but uh, during this scene. But that's not my primary concern. Uh, let's actually see how the game in fa itself plays. Uh, so, we can select whatever. Okay, so each has their own durability and speed and handling types, I guess. And what they are well known for. Seeker rocket, slow field, disrupted drone, motor striker, blast wave, sticky grenades. There is indeed a... Uh, wow. Look at the FPS drop. Damn. Ouch. My god. This is very bad. I know not why is this My God. What's anything even? We try other crews. Let's say this one. Oh, this one goes okay. Now the FPS is a little bit. So how exactly does this work? Let's see. Let's take this one.
no more higher hmm. okay there are two going that way so I can What sort of crap is this? How oh, exactly is this thing? Okay, so it doesn't uh
My God. Hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah, it's a bug or something. Oh, hey, boys. <laughs> How are we all? <laughs> I guess I'm a voice chatter now. <laughs> yep, junk rap for the win. Oh, low frames. Sorry, Brad, did you say that you lowered your graphics to try and increase FPS? Oh! <laughs> what do you mean it's locked on 60 FPS? Yeah, yeah it's, it's locked at 60. A bit. Oh, okay. I don't know why it is, but it is. So, how do you boys get the, uh, the beta? Early in war arena. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know. <clears throat> Zone C secure. You are in the lead. So how do you feel like this different uh, type of uh, teams? How do you feel like what suits you better? And the balancing. Uh. Warheads, dude. But if you have any recommendations, sing out. I'm also like trying each uh, type and seeing see what uh, like it feels different things. Yeah. And losing every single match. <laughs> be okay oh hey there Brad Let's go see. Okay. What is C? Okay. Enemy grab incoming. Uh, B. Two enemy grab zone, zone C. Victory. 
Let's uh, try uh, another unit this time and see how that feels like. Man, the first uh, match was so hell. Couldn't even tell what <laughs> was going on with that big ass FPS drop. We're gonna switch it again. Yeah, we can. Damn. Maybe yeah, you like, have to. Oh, I have We've gotta put the on. It's not dead.
That was nice. Well, at least shorter matches so you can like you won't get bored even if you lose it's uh, like goes quite fast i wonder if during the open beta they will let us experience the story a little bit because that's what uh, i'm concerned about multiplayer not so much i know myself <laughs> I won't play multiplayer much. Oh, junkyard after junkyard. Either way. Hello, guys. So for some reason, uh, despite having push to talk open, the freaking voice just is not noting that. So, yeah. Javelin launcher. I have no idea what the hell that is, but yeah.
wide Shotgun ish. All right, Who the Okay, so that's how it works. Eh? This pick cannot heal himself. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> the PS flickering is annoying me right now. Let's see guys. All right, I'm back. Let's uh.
for contesting in one field continuously. FPS. Not like this at all. Shitty FPS. Can I lower the graphics or something? Video. Even that medium is not uh, working quite well. I put it on low and see. Oh, wait. Shadow quality. You can go freaking. All the way down. Epic. Now I'll see how much FPS is it like here is still 60 is fine but in game is freaking annoying me I'll have to see how it works on the game But either way, we are able to at least understand how the game is working at the very least. You despite being a main uh, grab cycle controller, your crew is dealing a significant damage as you saw in the last match to the enemy I marked to the grab cycle. Otherwise I wouldn't uh, be able to kill him and would have been killed alone myself. So, it's a little bit complex and uh, I think I actually like uh, the way it is. Uh, a little bit challenging, isn't it? Uh, as for the matches itself, uh, the timing is quite fine. Uh, not too long, not too short. Uh, and uh, I'm also not, f right, even now I'm not familiar with all the different... Uh, styles, different weaponries and stuff used in different crews and I'll be getting familiar with those. It uh, is gonna take a little bit of time. Um, for now, I'll be... I can try to keep doing this one as I kind of got a hang of how this uh, thing is working. But... Um, other than that, uh, it's quite well and good. And finally, to be honest, uh, the uh, I do not know how high the graphics in this game is, like how much it is taking. This is why I like freaking uh, Ubisoft's games, as uh, gives me an idea of how much high the graphics are. But here, uh, not much idea. Freaking junk reward again. God. This is a I hate spam calls. Anyway. Uh this one is also has a marksman rifle, so Motor strike. Let's actually try this one. How it? Uh, okay, that one, that spawn was okay, 47, 49. It's a little bit smoother. Won't get that annoying choppiness. Uh, uh, but still, this is hard, hard, hard. A little bit hard. Not gonna wait. This is Pitfire Cannon. What the? My god. Mm. Oh, doing man, combat the FPS drop is bad. I don't know whether that's due to any uh, 
like their issue or is it my hardware that cannot uh, actually cope with this which is very odd but uh, that is also possible ouch who the My God, what do you th even think you're going? Uh, what the God, this close situations are very bad right now. I'm getting bad FPS drops in turns and stuff. Know what? Let me try doing this. This was weird. That shouldn't be how a uh, targeted missile should work. No. So you mean rocket target? So why is it working like that? I don't know how the system works here, or rather how the... <laughs> Perfect. Let's take these out first. Where are you? Okay. What's the other one? This one. Perfect. Stress, 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 stress. That's why I didn't really understood uh, how this thing worked. A little weird. I don't know. I'll have to try everything, I guess, and see how it works. But either way, I think uh, that is uh, enough for a little bit of uh, beta testing video. I mean, I generally don't do it very this short but well this is a rinse and repeat process i need to understand how each uh, skill is working and uh, uh, how well it will like in which situation in which map i should use which one that's a general scenario that we all have to you guys will uh, also have to when you get to so 
I personally would recommend playing this game if you got a good setup for now. I do not know why the like FPS issues are coming yet. I'll check up the forums and stuff if there or the Discord if there is anything uh, given about that. Or is this my hardware setup problems? Maybe. Um, or there is any bug or something. I'll see. But if you got a good setup, go for it. I think uh, it'll be fun to be honest, especially if you are playing with your friends. Uh, don't take it from me, I'm just playing alone. But yeah, if you are playing with your friends, it'll be very, very fun considering uh, <sighs> ganging up on people is very easy when and also trying to go solo to impress your friends and then getting killed as well <laughs> that also happens right uh, as for how the campaign will go i know i'll see if in during the open beta they'll actually let us know anything about it uh, maybe if they let us play a bit part of the campaign then i'll be very happy about that i really want to see how the story is like this sort of a uh, little bit sci-fi system story shall I tend to be fun um, we'll see how this one goes uh, other than that I guess that's it that'll be it for this video um, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for uh, maybe considering to play this <laughs> I don't know but uh, We'll see how much fun everyone has. There are many people playing this game from uh, from the queue time you can see. Uh, so I think uh, if they can like, if people like this game, it can be considered a good beta, I guess. I don't know. To be honest, I haven't read whatever details they have posted about beta yet. I just wanted to go on blind and kind of see how the game is about and uh, what sort of problems do I face. But, well, I then the freaking choppiness and uh, PS issues, I didn't really felt anything much. And yes, this VoIP issue, I know that uh, VoIP system is not working as intended, which is why they put their Discord up the like many voice channels and stuff up so people can go there and use their VIP to play uh, well thanks for watching and thanks for staying I hope all of you are ha will have a very good um, day and uh, night or whatever wherever you are right now and uh, another thing uh, back uh, in the video I had stated that the freaking uh, uh, Alien War Arena you know, had 400 keys and so on. Uh, I do not think those keys are still up there because uh, f f from the Twitter and Discord, I saw many people wanting to get the beta keys. So I doubt they are still up there. But if uh, they are, maybe you guys can check it out if you want to play. And. Uh, have fun. <sighs> See ya.